Hi, I'm Dr. Ivan Meisner, founder of BNI, and today I want to talk about the four behavioral styles to know when you're out networking. Have you ever walked into a room full of people and thought, how do I get business from this group? I'm sure you have. As entrepreneurs, we walk into rooms full of people all the time, and we recognize these as ideal opportunities for generating business. If you don't know how to effectively gain referrals in these situations, the opportunity is lost. When you attend networking functions, you are potentially walking into a room full of business. However, networking is more about farming than it is about hunting. This means you need to get to know the people that you want to build a professional relationship with. With that in mind, how can you identify and react appropriately to the behavioral styles of others and have your behavioral style attract them to you rather than turn them off? Here are the four main behavioral styles complete with a short definition and description followed by a short assessment of that networking style. As you get to know your networking partners better, you'll be in a better position to understand how to work with them effectively. So the first style is the go-getter. A go-getter is a hustling, enterprising type person. Go-getters tend to be very results-oriented, driven, fast-paced, and impatient. They have a get-it-done-now attitude. They attend networking events to gain new business and to look to meet the most successful people at the event. Go-getters believe in expedience and are not afraid to bend the rules a little. They figure it's easier to beg for forgiveness than to ask for permission. They are so focused that they can appear aloof. They are so driven that they forget to, to take time to smell the roses sometimes. The next behavioral style is a promoter, an active supporter someone who urges the adoption of or attempts to sell or popularize someone or something. Promoters tend to be very positive, friendly, happy-go-lucky type people. They love to be on the go and are okay with having lots of irons in the fire. They avoid confrontations and they seek fun in everything they do. They attend networking events to hang out, meet new people, talk to their friends, and make sure they're seen at the event. Promoters would rather schmooze with clients over lunch than work on a proposal in the office. They are idea people and dreamers who excel at getting others excited about their vision. They are risk takers who are not inclined to do their homework or check out information and base many of their decisions on intuition. The third behavioral style is a nurturer. This is someone who gives tender care and protection to a person or thing, especially to help it grow or develop. Nurturers tend to be very patient, kind, caring, and helpful. They are great listeners and tend to enjoy things at a slower pace than go-getters and also slower than promoters. They do not like to get pushed or rushed into things, and they appreciate quality time with people. They attend networking functions to connect with people they already know, meet a few down-to-earth people, and focus on deepening their relationships with the people that they've already networked with. Nurturers' relaxed dispositions make them approachable and warm. They develop strong networks of people who are willing to be mutually supportive and reliable. They are excellent team players, but they are risk averse and may tolerate an unpleasant environment rather than risk a change. The last category is that of the examiner. This is a person who inspects or analyzes a person, place, or thing in detail while, while testing their knowledge or skill by asking questions. Examiners tend to be very thorough, efficient, task-driven people. They seek information and knowledge and they love to check things off their to-do list. Because examiners need a lot of information, they tend to make decisions more slowly than the go-getters or promoters. They have a propensity towards perfectionism. Examiners tend to be very good conversationalists as long as they know a lot about the topic that's being discussed. They attend networking functions 
only to market their business. And once they achieve their goal for the evening, they usually leave the event as quickly as possible. Examiners are always in control of their emotions. Note the poker faces of many Jeopardy contestants. They tend to be examiners. They may become uncomfortable around people who are less self-contained, uh, meaning emotional or bubbly like promoters can be. They tend to see the serious complex side of situations. Their intelligence and natural wit, however, gives them the unique, quick, and off-the-wall sense of humor that brings them success. Once you start to understand these four different behavioral styles, it can actually become easy to identify someone, adapt to their style, help them feel comfortable, and make them feel good at the same time. Understanding this as a starting point will allow you to begin to develop a stronger working relationship with potential networking partners. This is Dr. Ivan Meisner, founder of BNI. Thanks for watching.